Hello there beautiful people, I hope you're doing well and welcome back again to On How channel. For people that don't know, my name is Enes, I'm working for you, so if you have any questions, any video requests, make sure to drop them below in a comment and I will be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back and you already know, you should be a witness to over 100 videos I made so far on Shopify customization because they were mostly requested by you, I mean subscribers. Some people not even subscribers, but I'm fine with that, I still make the video for them. Just a like button, that's all I'm asking. Or actually, if you are interested in Shopify customization, you want to be an expert, why not subscribe to the channel? I don't have any courses to sell, uh, never will. I don't have any paid memberships, I don't sell any codes. All content I don't create, I post it completely free on the channel. So it's a win-win situation. But I respect your decision, and I'll let you choose. Uh, my question or my request is just a like button if this video helped it, you want, actually. And here I am back again with another request, which is how to hide the product suggestions on the search bar on your Shopify store. I mean the search. I have the search bar because I added in another video. And I will show you that in a second. But what I'm talking about when you type in something on the search bar, it does recommend you or show you some suggestions based, in on, the, based on the things you write in. How to disable that or to remove that. That's exactly what was requested and that's exactly what I'm about to show you in this video. And we will do that again without any apps or anything like that by using our own custom code. And without any more talking, let's just jump to it. As you can see, this is the Shopify dashboard. And I have here down team, which is the one I do demonstrations on. So every video I do, uh, I make, I do a demonstration on down team. But if I scroll down in here, I have every Eddie, other uh, free, the most used teams, which is a refresh, spotlight, taste, sense, and trade. And if you are wondering why is that, because behind the scenes, I do actually try the tricks on each one of these. So before I pause the video, I'll make sure that it works for all of these themes. So even if you're not uh, using down team, it should work for you just fine. And if it didn't, just drop me a comment. I will be happy to make an update for you or help you do what you're trying to do. And I have to say this in the beginning, so I give you a peace of mind because you're going to see me doing it on down team. And you might be thinking it's not working for the others. It is. It's working just fine for the others because as I said, I do try them behind the scenes and I don't do that in the video, so I don't bore people. And with that out of the way, let's just get to it and show you how to remove or hide the search suggestions based on the things you write typing on your Shopify store. And this is the Shopify store where I do all the tricks. So everything you see on the Shopify store here, I did it in tutorials. Literally everything, moving text on the announcement bar with a link on it, search bar what I was talking about, uh, shine effect on the buttons, every little thing with a shadow effect and as well as the uh, rounded corners on the cards, every little thing I did it in tutorial. So if you see anything on the Shopify store and you think it looks good and you want to implement it, then check out the channel because once you see it in here that means that video is already done and is already posted again let's just quit talking about the second time and let's just get to it and this is the search bar i was talking about because normally you will have the search icon on down team this is down team and uh, i removed it and added a search bar like this it looks way better so let me type in for example this called anchor anchor bracelet for men let's just type in anchor Ah, it, as you can see, it does show me the product based on the things I type in. If I type in just A, it's going to show me many products, as you can see, based on the products I have. How to remove this? That's easy. That's exactly what I'm about to show you in this video. So let's just remove this and keep this page open, do the trick, come back and see it in action. So get back to Shopify dashboard. If you are already in Shopify dashboard, click on the three dots on left of customize, then click on edit code, and it will take you to the code editor for your Shopify team. And in here, we need to find the specific file. Instead of looking at the folder, simply use the search bar at the top left corner and type in again. I have to repeat this each time. So it's gonna be either base.css or team.css or style.css. In some rare cases, some custom made teams, they use a custom.css but it's gonna be mostly either base.css team.css or style.css now they most of the teams now use base so try base in my case i know it's base and you will see a file called base.css click on it bunch of css code will show up and every time i said css just one dollar i'll be rich <laughs> so scroll after that scroll all the way down let me drag this because it's huge file and in here, 
uh, we need to create some in at the bottom as you can see at the bottom of the file we need to create some space to paste in some code but there is no space in order to create that space click front of the last thing the last line and hit enter on your keyboard and here we go we have a completely new line nothing on it because we need to paste in some code and to get that code where do you think you're gonna get the code from again scroll down the description box and you will see a link name it as code click on it it's gonna take you to this beautiful page with this very short code as you can see that will do the trick now simply select the whole code in here right click copy get back in here paste it at the bottom of the page click on the save button wait for a couple of seconds it save it get back in here let's just reload the page you remember I did try anchor bracelet man let's just type in anchor and see no more suggestion no more product shows up as you can see and we did type in the exact name for the product as you can see I did type in a as well let's just remove and keep a no suggestion from the product that you have as you can see and that's how you remove or hide the search suggestions based on the things you type in on your uh, Shopify store and if you have any questions make sure to drop on below but for now I think my job is done so thanks for watching catch you on the next one